What's up guys, Ninth Jim here bringing another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. We have top 128 from Dallas Pokemon Regional that happened this last weekend and I'm pretty excited for this actually. There's a lot of really really cool teams here. Um, let's just jump right into it. So in first place, Aaron Trailer, amazing player. This is his second regional win, I believe. Two times regional champion, I believe. And he showed off, dude. G Max Charizard, so sweet. That Pokemon is crazy. G Max Wildfire doing a sixth, I believe, of ev of both of your opponent's Pokemon every single turn, n excluding Fire Pokemon. But still, that's crazy. Um, that's a really sweet G Max attack. Uh, and then we also have Whimsicott everywhere. <laughs> Whimsicott is everywhere. And then we have Jellicent as well. Jellicent is actually showing up a lot as well. Jellicent is a really strong trick room setter, really good trick room reverser, and yeah, that's really it. Tri it's awesome. <laughs> Jellicent's really good. And then we also have Conkledor uh, as a Pokemon that can abuse trick room a little bit. Togekiss and Duraludon. To Togekiss is also every everywhere. That is like the most used Pokemon in VGC right now, I believe. Or one of, at least. But it's very, very up there. Um, so, yeah, good stuff to Aaron. That's an awesome team. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Also, uh, sh shout-outs to Nimbasa City Post. Uh, let me... Ooh, Nimbasa City Post. Uh, there's a link. I'm going to link it down in the description so that if you want to, you can see it. But, um, yeah, definitely go check Nimbasa City Post out. I'm going to put them down in the description below so that you can check out this graphic yourself so that if you don't feel like listening or waiting for stuff, you can just go check that out. And, uh, and yeah. Anyway, into second place, we have Benji Wang um, with winning 2000 bucks. You know, pretty good. Getting second place is awesome. That's an amazing accomplishment. He did it with a Durant team, which is sweet. Durant is really, really cool right now, actually, um, because of its ability, Hustle, which gives it... 1.5 times attack I believe and it also lowers its accuracy a little bit so it's essentially like a choice band but lowering its accuracy instead of keeping it into the same choice and this is really good for dynamaxing because you get the boo the boost but you don't get the the accuracy debuff which is really really good so that when this Pokemon is dynamax this Pokemon is a huge threat it's doing huge attack it's doing huge damage it's really really fast and especially when you pair it with uh, Wimscott setting Tailwind, boy, this is this is crazy. This go crazy. Durant's crazy powerful. And then we also have a Chandelure with Flash Fire to absorb that damage. So if you see like a Flamethrower, Flare Blitz coming into your Durant, something like that, you just switch out your Durant for the Chandelure, eat up that Fire Attack, and keep going. We also have Conkador and Togekiss. Those two Pokemon were very popular this weekend, mostly the Togekiss, to but Conkador is on a lot of teams as well. And then we have a uh, Milotic as well. I believe that was the Coil Milotic that was doing that and then Hypnosising. I may be wrong. Um, that may be a different Milotic that I saw, but that was a really sweet strat. So, yeah, good stuff to Benji. Um, in third, we have Andrew Burley. We have the Charizard. This one's not gi uh, the Dynamax, it, or not Gigantamax. It is Dynamax, or just regular Charizard. And Whimsicott to set Solar Power, uh, to set Sunny Day so that Solar Power Charizard can activate. We also have Bronzong, Rhyperior, and Butterfree to Rage Powder, Sleep Powder, you know, with Bronzong typically. And then we also have Duraludon, which is just another very popular Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, good stuff to Andrew Burley. In fourth, we have Justin Burns bringing Arcanine, Grimmsnarl, the Rhyperior Bronzong, and Togekiss, Dragapult. Togekiss, Dragapult, we're, no, we're very accustomed to at this point. It's very powerful, just very aggressive and strong, just very strong in general, um, along with Grimmsnarl set, setting screens, Trek Room, Rhyperior, and then an Arcanine just coming, just chilling. Chilling at the party. Then we got fifth place Justin Ramirez with the Whimsicott. Of course, everybody's got a whim You got to have your Whimsicott with you, you know? You got Mimikyu uh, setting Trick Room potentially for Rhyperior and Conkledor. We also have Duraludon and Dragapult at the party. Just chilling. They are both very, very powerful, very fast, and just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Both really good Dynamax targets, although Rhyperior is there too, so 
that's most likely going to take a lot of Dynamaxes, but if you don't go Trick Room route, he has a very fast package as well with the Duraludon Dragapult. Um, in sixth place, we have Justin Crewball. We got Arcanine, Grimmsnarl, Gastrodon, Mudsdale, Togekiss, and Duraludon. This is the same six Pokemon as the Alexagloza. Uh, first place on ranked team. I'm gonna be. I want to. I want to play that out a little bit on um, for videos. So you might see that that team in future videos. Um, and also, I have a couple of rental teams for some of these teams down below. I'm gonna be adding them as well. Um, Alan Tra Al Ugh. Aaron Trailer is gonna be putting up his team here very soon in the next uh, day or two. Maybe today. I think today. Um, or yesterday, actually. I gotta double check and make sure that's not already up, but I might be able to put that one down below. Also, second place um, in a bunch of random ones but between top 16, top 32, stuff like that. So we'll definitely check out the description if you want to play some rental teams. Um, and then in seventh place, we have Ryan Chambers. Uh, this is another great player. Ryan Chambers. Everybody here is a great player. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um, that's just another one that I knew off. The bat. Also, Justin Burns. I've heard that name and Andrew Burley. So I, I have. I'm fairly new to VGC myself. Um, I used to follow it in 2017, and now I'm really getting into it. So I'll know all of these names one day. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, going on to or uh, Ryan Chambers. So we've got the Excadrill Titar package. Very fast, strong. Sand Stream, Sand Rush, very fast, aggressive team uh, with Scrafty, Braviary to deter Defiant, Jellicent, and Rotom Mo. So that's really sweet. That may be an imprisonment, uh, the imprisoned Trick Room Jellicent potentially as well. So awesome stuff to Ryan Chambers. On to eighth, we have Jake Skirchak with the Arfcore. Hey, hey. Um, and then also Sylveon. Mandibuzz and Dragapult. These Pokemon are all just very good. I like seeing Mandibuzz a lot. Mandibuzz was a good Pokemon in the past. Uh, hasn't really shown off much now. However, having uh, access to Taunt, Toxic, uh, I think it gets Substitute. This rather bulky Pokemon can be, become just a big threat. It also has Roost usually, Knock Off. Like, it's, it's a very good Pokemon. Um, so it's interesting seeing it here finally. We've been missing. We've, we've had a lack of Mandibuzz. Uh, in ninth place, we have Devin Singh with the Charizard, Solar Power, Whimsicott combo, and maybe the G-Max, but we don't, uh, unfortunately, we don't know. Um, Trick Room, Jellicent, Hyperior, Togekiss, as you see, there's a uh, Togekiss in the next, like, eight, seven people. Um, a lot of Togekiss. It's very powerful. Duraludon as well. So, good stuff to Devin Singh. Tenth place, we have Excadrill, uh, Nathan Ortiz with the Excadrill. This is Mode Breaker, most likely. The Scrafty Chandelure Lapras, which is cool. Could be Weakness Policy. I've seen that on the ladder a couple of times. I don't see it much without that, um, unless it's like Parish Trapping, which you see even less than Weakness Policy Lapras. Uh, and then Togekiss Dragapult, so pretty good stuff there, Nathan. Um, Vishy Vashudovin. Here we have Glaceon, which is very interesting. I believe I have this rental code, the Glaceon Dracovish. Uh, Haxorus, Whimsicott, Togekiss, Duraludon. Pretty sweet team. Glaceon. Interesting. Um, twelfth place, we have Alberto Lara with the Ryu Nicholas. I love Ryu Nicholas right now. It's most likely offensive. We've been seeing a lot of offensive. Um, my build for that is really bad. Maybe I'll have to do a revision. Um, it Mine is a bulky build. The one that I made was bulky Trick Room. Um, this one is not... Probably. I don't actually know for this one, but I saw in the feature match, I believe round two or three, there was a Life Orb reun Reuniclus that they Dynamaxed every game. And that was pretty interesting, so it's cool to see. Um, but as far as this team goes, we have Arcanine Reuniclus, Rotom, Wash, and Hydreigon, and then the Togekiss and Aditi. So pretty good stuff there. Awesome, awesome stuff there, Alberto. Then we got in 13th place, Scott Iwafuchi. With the Excadrill, very strong. Potentially G-Max Lax, most likely G-Max Lax, or Curse Lax. It could be either, actually. Um, no Trick Room, no main Trick Room setter. It is Chandelure there that has trick access to Trick Room. However, there's the only Pokemon that really gets anything off of it is Snorlax. So, I don't know if that's a, an actual main um, strat. 
you know. And then we also have Gyarados and Togekiss, Dragapult, very powerful stuff there. 14th, we have Jacob Swiley with the Mudsdale, very powerful. The Arfcore, Mudsdale, and Togekiss, Dragapult. This is also very, very powerful. Arfcore with Togekiss, Dragapult is just very common. You'll see it a lot, um, but for good reason. It is very, very powerful. In 15th, we have Gilberto Espejel. Sorry if I messed up that name. But we have Sand Rush Togekiss, or, well, there is Togekiss. Um, Sand Rush, Tyranitar, Excadrill, Core, very powerful. Arcanine, Gastrodon to cover all of those Pokemon. We also have Rotomo and Togekiss. That's an ex extremely powerful team as well. In 16th, we have Keegan Meyer um, with the Durant, the Grim Snarl, the Mudsdale. Awesome stuff. That's most likely Swagger, Grim Snarl onto the Untempo. Mudsdale, very good stuff. We also have Gastron to cover the Mudsdale and the Arcanine and then Ga uh, the Gyarados as well. So that's it for top 16. Now we're just going to go over it pretty briefly. So if you're um, in here, you're a really good player. I'm not diminishing that. However, uh, however, we are at 11 minutes already and we have a lot of players to go, over a hundred players to go. So we're just gonna go through them um, and point out some really cool stuff that we see. So Dusclops, Gothitelle, both on the same team is awesome. Milotic is great to see. Um, Braviary, I love seeing Braviary more. Sand Rush is very powerful. Sand Rush with Charizard seems very interesting. It's probably not solar power. Actually, no, it probably is since there's Whimsicott on the team as well. It's setting Sunny Day. Corviknight, we don't see very much Corviknight anymore. Hit on top is sweet. Uh, a lot of Gastron, a lot of Sand Aggro, a lot of Rhyperior, a lot of Togekiss. All of these things you just grow to expect. Uh, Grimmsnarl and Mudsdale, most likely on Tempo, very powerful. Uh, Serena, I believe I have that. Rental code as well on 29th place with the Serena, which is very interesting. It caught my eye. Galar Weezing is awesome. Um, I love seeing that Pokemon. Araquanid, a bunch of ice cream cones is pretty sweet. Uh, to more Togekiss Dragapult is very powerful. Dracovish for like one of the first Dracovishes we see. There's a, there was one or two, I think. More Milotic, more Sand Team, aggressiveness, really cool stuff. Passimian, Aegislash. Raichu, Sylveon, awesome team. Um, Raichu video is coming up today as well. Uh, actually, I'm going to record that right after this video is done. Gmax, Pikachu, baby. I love it. I love, love seeing that stuff. I got Barrascuto, Rain team there. Pretty awesome. Another Durant. I'm seeing a good bit of Durant, honestly. Or not a good bit. Like, we're seeing a couple. There's another Durant, actually, um, as we're going through here. More ice cream cones. Way too many Togekiss. <laughs> Uh, we knew that though. More Grimmsnarl, Mudsdale. It's a very powerful strat. Ribombi is sweet. Gothitelle and Gotharita. I saw that before, and that's just so interesting. Uh, la 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 la. Butterfree. Awesome stuff. G Max Pikachu again. I love it. Love to see it. Umbreon. I believe I have that rental team as well with the Umbreon. Very interesting stuff. You love to see random evolutions. Um, and Umbreon is actually pretty powerful access to Snarl, Foul Play. It's pretty solid. Um, and it has some more support moves, I believe, as well. But we'll see. Um, then we have Orangaroo, the man. Um, that's a really cool Pokemon. We have Lucario. No beat-up stress, just regular Lucario. is pretty sweet. Hippowdon with the Excadrill is pretty cool. More Passimian, more sl ooh, Slush Rush, Bear Tick with the Ice Cream Cone is really sweet. Trevenant's interesting to see. Uh, Sableye, Butterfree, him on top. More Ice Cream Cone, way too many Togekiss still. Um, Hawlucha, not on a Sylveon or... Indeed, there is Indeedee though. Indeedee Hawlucha is very powerful. Whimsicott, beat up the Lucario again, probably. Togedomaru is awesome. Alcremi and Gudra. Those are really cool Pokemon to see. Mandibuzz as well. Kamoa and Silvalli. All very interesting Pokemon to see. Got a couple of that uh, very powerful Bronzong Rhyperior core. It's really good core. Uh, especially with Bulldoze on it to self-proc weakness policy on the Rhyperior. Is crazy. There we have uh, Aaron Zhang at 95th. Good stuff. Um, that's just a player, a great YouTuber. Go check him out, actually, on uh, YouTube. He's almost at 100K. Go check him out. Subscribe to him as well. Um, going through here.
Got a Vileplume. More Glaceon is very interesting to see. We've got a Rangaroo. Rotomos all around. I think Wolfie is right around here as well. Actually, did I miss him? He's right around here. Um, Lapras. Cofragagus is cool. Inteleon is pretty sweet. Not even on the Whimsicott team. Looking for a wolf. I thought he was around here. Uh, Aromatisse is very interesting. Actually, in 118th, we have that very interesting... We have that very interesting team from a Galar Weekly a few weeks ago. The Pukumuku, Lapras, Aromatis, Senta Scorch. It was such a wild team. Uh, we also have Sinistee in there. That's cool. In uh, 119th. Maybe I missed Wolf, or maybe he's not in here. I thought he was, though. Um, but yeah, good stuff to everybody. We have more Gudra, Parish Trap, Shenanigans. Awesome stuff. Um, if you made it in 128 that's so sweet it's not easy to do that if you want to go in here and share this definitely do that um Nimbasa city post thank you so much for posting this and i'll link that down below so you can go check this out yourself but yeah awesome uh awesome team uh, or awesome teams everybody awesome stuff everybody that played really just amazing event in general um sad i wasn't there but I will be there for some in the future, and we will see what's up. Maybe I'll do, like, maybe even, like, a vlog or something at those. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for today's video. Uh, definitely check back and check down in the description for some rental codes. I think I have, like, five or six right now. Um, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. And I'm going to try and find more and more, and we're going to get... Oh, it's early. We're going to get a whole bunch of rental teams out, and yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, it's like 17 minutes. You're crazy, but I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.